All right, well, let's build and run and check our code. So we run it, use command comma to bring down the window, and I'll enter bogus information, and return. Oh, and it came back authenticated. Well, that's not right. Let's go back and see what happened. So all that looks good. Let's go back to our Twitter class and see what's happening here. Okay, so if the range of string could not authenticate you, dot location does not equal, oh, okay, well, I see. Yeah, we want this to equal in it's not found. If you put the not operator, then that makes that statement true. Okay, so that makes more sense. Now we're saying if the location of could not authenticate you, if that equals ns not found, then we return true. Otherwise, we return no. So let's just run this again just to make sure. Command comma. Put in some bogus information. Hit return. And not authenticated. Okay, that's much better. So we can quit this. We're starting to make some headway. We can now check to see if the user has entered credentials and if those credentials are verified by Twitter. Well, we sort of know if the user's been verified. I'm not sure I want to rely on checking for one phrase in a string as a solid way to check for authentication. And this is where NSXML document comes in. We need to add some code to the isUserAuthenticated method and pull out some real data from the XML returned by Twitter. And I think we should also be able to inform the user if the site is down or if there's an error message returned. And we can do all of this with the help of NSXML document. We'll actually be able to pull out the error that's between the error tags and not just search for could not authenticate you. There may be some other error that's returned that the user needs to know about. Now, NSXML document, like most Objective-C classes, has several ways of instantiation. Since we're getting a string back from the NS task, we should use the method init with XML string options error. So we can delete all of this code and we'll start writing the code to use NSXML document. We're going to need a pointer to an error. And I'll just call it error. Next, we'll create the document. And I'll call it XML doc. And we'll use the init with XML string. And the string we'll use is the string we get from our NS task, which is just called string. For the options, we're going to use NS XML document tidy XML. And for the error, we'll use the error that we just got a pointer to. And I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. Okay, that's easier to read. Now that we've created the document, we're going to need to start getting at the values that it holds. And we're going to do that first by grabbing an element and we'll get the root node. So we're going to use NS XML element. And we'll call this one root node. And this is going to be the root node of the XML document we just created. So we'll say XML doc and root element. Now that we've got a hold of the document structure, we're going to want to search it to see if we can find screen name. And we're going to do that using notes for XPath. Notes for XPath returns an NS array. So we're going to need to create an NS array. And I'm going to call this one screen names. And so now we're talking to the root node. And we're going to say nodes for XPath. And the path that we're looking for is screen name. And here we're just going to insert nil. We're not going to be checking the error on this one. We'll just check to see if the array is empty. And so we can test this out. We're just going to print this to the log. And we'll log the whole array. Now, if you're not familiar with XPath, XPath could have a video series all on its own. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot you can do with it. But for our example here, the two forward slashes, what this is saying is just grab 
everything in the document, no matter where it's located, that has a tag of screen name. And this method will work not only when we're checking for authentication, but also when we're posting updates to Twitter as well. And so we don't get a compiler warning, I'm just going to return yes. Because right now, we're just wanting to make sure that our NSXML document code is working and that we're getting the screen names out correctly. So let's go ahead and run it. And I'll put in my correct credentials. And if we look down the console, we can see that it pulled in the whole string, including the tags, and it put it inside of an array, and there's only one item in the array. And that would be correct because there's only one screen name tag in the document that we're getting back. And it also returned authenticated because I'm returning yes, no matter what. So let's quit the app. And now that we know that our code so far is working, let's go ahead and put a few more tests in so that we can provide the user with more valuable information.